Welcome back, everyone, to the Clay Soldier Battle Tournament. And there goes my headset. Welcome back, everyone, to the Clay Soldier Battle Tournament. Scavenger Edition. So, we got four more elimination matches to do. And I don't feel like waiting around to get them done. Now let's get going with Mag Magenta versus Valkyrush. Such a st stupid name. And they are going to be fighting at the Steamy Chamber. I think I'm going to hold on to this paper because we've gotten it too frequently. All right. Let's get them all set up. All right. The teams are all set up once again. Over here, we have the Mag Magenta team. They are equipped with string cores and they have blaze rod weapons. They'll set their enemies afire, and hopefully that'll help them win the fight. But they face up against Valkyrush. They have Sugar Speed Boost and Bone Clubs. Let's see which of them will win in 3, 2, 1. Begin. And Valkyrush is already across... They're already across the map, zipping past the steam traps as much as they can. They are taking a lot of losses to those traps still, though. And they went from being losers to winners in just a few blasts of steam and some hard-fought battles. This is actually a very close fight, mainly thanks to the arena traps. And there's one more magma gentle... Ooh, one... Mag Magenta actually clutched that and won. <laughs> Honestly, I did not expect that. That was one heck of a turnaround. Well, let's go ahead and claim them their prize. And they're going to get Sugar Speed. Awesome. So they're zippy fast and set you on fire. What's not to love? Anyway, next up, we're going to be seeing the Lepus Leapers versus the Time Bombers. Now, this is going to be an interesting matchup, because one of them is riding rabbits and hopping around all the time. The other one, their main strength is that, well, they're the only team with a sharpened stick. And they also have the benefit of having Time Bombs. And they will face, ooh, the Subway Terror. First time we've seen it tonight. Or today, whenever you're watching this. Let me get them all set up and we'll get this match going. Alright, the teams are all set up. We have over on the left side here, the Lepus Leapers. They have bunny mounts and bone clubs. Have So they have a pretty varied set of weapons. And we have on the right, the Time Bombers. They have sharpened sticks and some nice little time bomb surprises. So, which team will win? Who will be flattened by the train of doom? Let's find out in three, two, one. And both teams are heading off towards the middle. Watch out, guys. There's a train coming. Ah, oh, one guy got flattened. And, ooh, ooh, massacre for the Lepus Leapers. They just lost a huge amount of folks. But so far, it's staying fairly even. Oh, and man, it's a massacre. <laughs> oh, jeez, that, that was... That was morbid. That one Zion troop left. I think he might have gotten stuck in a doorway, though. Yep, it looks like he's stuck in the door. Oh, he got free, he got free. He's going after the guys, and it looks like the train got blown off the tracks by one of the time bombs. This little guy is all that the Cyan team has left. But he seems a little bit disoriented, not sure where he's going to be going. Ah, hey, little buddy, he's right there. 
He looks like he wants to pick up something first. Uh, I guess he's going to make his death an ultimate sacrifice if it comes to that. But it looks like the Lepus Leapers may have won this fight. Oh! Ooh! Ah, and there he goes. <laughs> oh, there goes some static. Okay. Well, that was a, a very interestingly close match. Decided mainly by the train. Train was MVP in this fight. And I have to go and actually pick it up or it's going to disappear. So, Lepis Leapers, they win. Despite taking massive, massive losses to explosions and trains. So, their prize is... Sharpened Sticks. Now, I am actually not certain how this is going to work out. Because they actually only have four people with sticks. Otherwise, everyone else uses a bone club. Hmm. I suppose the good way to make it work out is that they get half their team with sharp sticks and the other half gets bone clubs. We'll just have to do it that way and see how it turns out. And that can happen for any team that ends up getting a second melee weapon. Alright, next up is going to be the first fight between our Prelimination round contenders, Goose Plosions versus Pond Scum. Let's gather them together and see who wins. And we're back at the Tranquil Grove to see Pond Scum versus Goose Plosions. Goose Plosions, as we saw before, have some time bombs and they have slime attacks. And they've recently added some iron cores. To a few of their people. Then over here on the pond scum side, we also have those gooey, sticky slime attacks. And they have lily pad pants. Again, useless in the fight due to the lack of water. But they also have one weapon, one utility item, which may help them overcome goo explosions. Their string cores which let them withstand one explosive attack. So, let's find out which team will win in this fight. In three, two, one. Battle begin. Both teams making their way to the middle. More pond scum than goose explosions. People are being stuck to the ground all over. It looks like it's mainly going to be pond scum getting stuck to the ground. We've had people resist the blast already. Some more explosions going off. It looks like Pond Scum is a, a surprising victor, despite Goo Explosions having explosive capabilities and some Iron Core bodies. And the explosions just do not stop. I saw some clay soldiers get launched in the air. I did not see if they came back down inside the arena or if they fell to the death outside. And it looks like we may have gotten some of the goo explosion people stuck in the doorway, but that's all right. Pond Scum went in, cleared them out, and they came out as the victors. And there are no more soldiers here, so good. And as is usual when it comes to items that are completely the same, I took out the slime so that they don't have to worry about accidentally picking that. Uh, let's see. They're getting out of this one. And they themselves now have explosives. How fitting that they have a stringy core in their body to keep them from being damaged once by their own explosions. Of course, one of them has to die in order for it to even explode in the first place, so they're going to lose someone no matter what. All right. Let's get Thunderstrike and Mushmunk set up in the Tranquil Grove again, I guess. Yeah. 
Ah, well, let's do it anyway. And the final round of the eliminations is set up. Over on the left side, we have Thunderstrike. Equipped with Lightning in the form of Emeralds. String Cores, which won't be very useful in this fight due to there being a lack of explosions. And a bit of Redstone Dust. They face off against what may be one of the most formidable teams we have, the Mushmunks. Equipped with a mushroom for emergency healing, some fists that will never stop punching as hard as they can, and now enhanced with some sugary speed. Will these guys be able to speed past the lightning strikes of, of Thunderstrike? Let's find out in 3, 2, 1... Battle begin. And we can see mush monks are zipping all the way across the battlefield right into the onslaught of the lightning strikes of Thunderstrike. But Thunderstrike is just being obliterated despite their extremely powerful lightning attacks. Mush monks are just all over the place and tearing them apart piece by piece and there's nothing left. It seems that though that increased speed really plays well with the Mush Monk's fighting style. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and see who, or not who, but what they will claim as their prize. And they will get... Ooh, the Lightning Fist will go to them! Truly, the Mushmunks are a formidable, formidable team, and I have a little secret to let, let you in on. I pegged them to be the champions before I even set up all the, all the signs with the matchups. And they're only proving to become more and more powerful. They may be the team that snowballs everyone. But we'll have to see what happens in the next round, in the quarterfinals, where they face off against the Lepus Leapers. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't think that that's going to really make much of a difference to them. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this tournament. If you are, give a like. Punch the subscribe button if you feel like it. Ring the bell, and I will see you next time. Take care, and goodbye.